Hello and good evening, everybody. Sorry, I'm a day late on this with the bi-weekly or even weekly um, uploads with the Wealth Wednesday. I am working on finding a quiet place in general to get these done somewhere in between those dates. Um, with work from bell shifts to whatever, it's really hard to find a place to just sit down, get some quiet time, get my thoughts together for one, and then two, bring it forward to you guys. So I want to give another thank you to all of my friends that have given me advice on the last one. So we're going to continue this the best I can and hopefully keep that normal energy I have. But if you guys watch my vlog guiding light, the biggest point of this YouTube is to watch my tone of speech and watch my speed as well. So if you guys noticed, I'm not speaking as fast like I do on Instagram. So let's get back to this. So today's topic is honoring your time. I'm gonna go over seven quick bullet points. That way we can go from there and hopefully you can honor your time and have a higher appreciation for your life. First point is we're all here on borrowed time. What I mean by that is we're all gonna expire soon or die in some cases, we all know that. So in a sense, procrastination, try to leave it at the door. Procrastination is a slap in the face to your creator and to your life because you don't know how much time you have left. So you're just basically telling yourself, hey, I'll pull out, I'll have time to do this later. You may not have it later. I mean, it's just like waiting something for shipping. The only thing you have to do is survive. Point number two, manage your time. From making an hourly schedule daily to managing your circle of digital friends, especially if you wanna focus on a goal, this is very important. Um, especially if you wanna get your stuff together or you wanna start a business is every hour of the day, you wanna schedule that out and plan that out. This way you're not giving your precious time to people that in a sense don't deserve it, that aren't friends or family or somebody just looking for an answer. Um, a big thing is nowadays too, is you have more digital friends you talk with than your real friends. So I would personally say, take a look at who your digital friends are, make sure they're great quality, because if they're not, Chances are you're gonna spend all day arguing with them anyways and not talking about anything productive. Um, so again, with this era, you wanna make sure you have quality people that you talk with on a daily because you just don't wanna waste your time. Let's go over to the third point. The more accessible you are, the lesser your value is. I'll say that one more time. The more accessible you are, the lesser your value is, especially when you're good at something. Take the Hitori Hanzo, which I love referring to. Hitori Hanzo was a great swordsman, let's say. He's not found in Tokyo. You have to find somebody that knows about Hitori Hanzo, which would then have you, which would cost you. And if it doesn't cost you, you have to do some sort of trial to get there. And once you do that, he'll tell you where he's at. And once you know his whereabouts, you're gonna have to walk through all of the forest, up in the hills, go through all that, just to get to him. And then he's gonna ask whatever he wants because he's a desired, he's the best at what he does, or he's great at his craft, which is why you're seeking him. So again, the more accessible you are, the lesser your value. Don't be afraid to take a step back and just keep it silent. Point number four, take time out to be comfortable with who you are. Doing so will improve your quality of life. I was talking to one of my managers downstairs and you know, he even told me, I'm glad that you told me the truth because I feel like I can't even be myself in person. The more comfortable you are with yourself, the better life you're gonna have where you're not focusing on what other people do that you don't like because at a certain point, instead of looking down on somebody for doing something they wouldn't do or feeling bad because somebody else over here is doing more than what you think you should be doing, you pay that no mind. You know, it's kind of like in high school where, you know, the only reason why seniors are worried about freshmen is because they see somebody with potential that could replace them. If you're good at what you do, you understand that every king has an error to run, which is our life in a sense. The other outside stuff doesn't affect you. So keep that in mind. Number five, get a checkup, man. If you got a chance, go to the dentist, get your teeth, your ears, your eyes, everything checked. We're all paying for that as we work. But do we use it? Where's our money going to? The reason I say that is when you were younger, you know, certain foods you could eat like crazy, now you can't. Same with products that used to be on your skin, your face, your hair, your beard, whatever it is. That let's say coconut oil for your hair and your beard may have nourished it. Now it's just gonna dry it the heck out. So get yourself checked out. 
do your best to understand yourself, you know, because your body may not accept those or be as effective as it used to be. Number six, this is my personal favorite. Take time out for gratitude. Reconnect with your parents and your best friend's parents. I love saying your best friend parents are your second set of parents. Reason being is you probably spent a lot of time with them and they were still kind of parenting you. And basically they're parenting from your friend, which is their kid, rubbed off on you. We have to remember that they're getting old too and some of us are actually getting towards that age our friend's parents were when we met them. So I would definitely take the time out. You know, holidays are coming up. Don't make the holidays the only day you visit them. And go visit your best friend's parents. See how they're doing. They're all going through stuff and they were probably going through things when we were younger, we just didn't understand. And they did a good job of not letting us know about it. I'm sure that we're all grown up now. We're probably thinking, wow, how did they get through that? You know? Um, yeah, have a sit down with your best friend's parents and thank them for saying, hey, thank you for letting me hang out with your kid because as some of us are parents now, you know, not everybody's allowed to hang out with your kid. They're not a good influence. One thing my best friend's mom used to say was, hey, who's driving? Oh, this guy is, I don't trust him. He can't go. And I'm like, well, that sucks. But now as an older person, I understand. And finally, number seven, most importantly, take time out to do that thing you've been wanting to do, whether it's YouTube, whether it's play the piano, whether it's uh, get better at your skill or even remaster what you're currently doing, getting more professional at your workforce, do that. Uh, or even try that new skill, you know what I mean? If you've never played basketball before, as we change, if things aren't sticking with cars, try basketball, try ice skating, you never know what may catch your interest if you don't try you know it's always every five years i would say try something different if you do cars for five years let's go ahead and try to do um teaching for five years let's go ahead and try to do learning how to cut hair the next five years because that'll keep you fresh in doing everything and from there they're just calling you you know what i mean that itch there it keeps telling you to do something because you're supposed to the more you set it off the more it's going to keep scratching you in the back behind your ear what is this next thing you know the idea is in your mind again and guess what you're going to want to do it so take your time out figure out what that is journal it out that way you have something to refer to because again with journaling and writing i'm always going to go over this no matter how many videos i have to make is that the fact that you are going to eventually make a blueprint for what you want to do. So one step at a time, guys. And I just want to say thank you again for tuning in. Let me get this uploaded and we'll go from there. Take care of yourselves. Honor your time. Don't waste it. You guys have a wonderful night. Thank you.